성도님들은 거의 힘이 없는 분들이 많습니다. That there are many among the believers who have no strength and power. 그러다가 가난하고요. On top of that, they're poor. 그런데다가 또 교회도 조그만하고요. And on top of that, the churches are very small. 또 이제 실패가 거듭되질 때 힘이 빠지겠죠. And when failure repeats, they lose their strength. 이런 교인들이 많다는 걸 아셔야 됩니다. You need to know the fact that there are many of these kinds of believers. 괜찮은 것이 초대 교회가 그랬습니다. But the reason why that's okay is because the early church was that way. 이런 초대 교회에게 예수님께서 곧 일어날 것을 말씀하셨어요. And to this early church, Jesus spoke about what would take place shortly. 그게 바로 And that answer is Acts 2, 1 through 13. What was promised on the Mount of Olives was fulfilled here. What you must know first, although it may sound a little bit arrogant, is that the Pharisees could not receive this. I'd rather the members of the early church who were poor and who did not have much were matching with this. And that's something that our professors and our scientists need to be careful of. Although a lot of good things and knowledge has already entered into them, so if they were applicable to this, they can overturn the world, but it's very difficult to apply these things. Then rather being a person from Galilee might be better. That from God's perspective, that is. And so always be cautious. It's very difficult for the heads of the conglomerates to really understand these words or to really find their value. And the reason why it's hard is because they've got lots of money and power. And if they have any personal problems, they can just keep that to themselves and just pray to God. They don't consider this to be the most important thing. And in one sense, this is the answer to make today the best. 이 응답을 내가 누릴 수 있다면 오늘 과거는 발판이 되고 미래는 보장이 되는 겁니다. And if you could enjoy this answer today, then your past will become your background and the future is guaranteed. 이 속에는 굉장한 배경이 들어 있습니다. There is a tremendous background inside of this. 이건 우리가 믿어야 되는 거죠. That's something we need to believe. 여기는 그냥 성령의 역사가 아니고. 보좌의 축복과 능력이란 게 약속돼 있는. And it wasn't merely the work of the Holy Spirit that took place there. It was guaranteed the blessing of the throne. 이게 배경으로 돼 있기 때문에 가치 없는 시 보는 사람에게는 아무 가치 없는 거예요. And because this is their background, to those who think that is worthless, it may appear worthless. 진짜 본 사람은 세계를 바꾸는. But to those who really did see this, they could change the world. Why? Because it's the throne. 여기는 굉장한 배경을 갖고. And there is a tremendous background here. 성삼이 하나님의 역사가 배경으로 돼 있어요. At the working of the triune God, that is the background. 반드시 성부 하나님의 말씀으로. Absolutely, God the Father by His word. 성자 하나님의 구원으로. And the God the Son through salvation. 성령 하나님의 능력으로. And God the Spirit through His power. 지금도 이십사 영원히 역사하고 있어요. Even now, twenty-four hours and for all eternity are working. 믿는다면. That if you truly believe this, then it's different. If you truly believe this, then your interests will be different as well. Because there are things that take place when you truly believe this. And you transcend time and space. This power and the power of the Holy Spirit are the power of time and space. At the power of the throne, as well as the triune God, transcend time and space. So you may be praying here, but the works will arise in America. And 
And because Christians don't actually believe this, those who are into the Qi movement, they can communicate through prayer from America all the way to India. That not believing this tremendous mystery, you go into the 5,000 people groups and you're immediately you are killed. And you know what happens in the 5,000 people groups. That the Qi movement as well as this mystical movement, the, super, uh, the superstitious movement, those kind of things is what they do, idolatry. As a missionary Park Kono inside of our organization, when I see him running around like that, I'm really surprised. At first he said he almost died. Because they actually use spells and incantations to kill people. That these demons, they are enjoying transiting time and space, but Christians are completely oblivious to that. And if you really believe, these things will take place. And so there is something you must teach. There are things that hinder us. That even though we believe as well as enjoy this background, there are a few things that are an obstacle, things that try to block us. That you came to believe in Jesus because of some other motive and you were shocked. Oh, I was so shocked by listening to Reverend Yu's message. People say that. But among the people who say that, there, were, there weren't any who was able to properly finish this to the very end. And among the members inside of our organization, there are those who say, oh, you have to listen a lot to Pastor Yu's message from the very beginning. No, that's not it. That we continue to give the same message that we did at the very beginning, even now. That we're traveling a journey, and so where we are in the journey might be a little different, but it's the same message. In one sense, perhaps you're emphasizing Christ even more now. And we see that a lot inside of Korea. We make this mistake a lot. They're saying, oh, you know, all those things that you hear out there, that's all a fake. What we heard of the, with Pastor Yu from the very beginning of this ministry, that's what you need to listen to. That's really wrong. That Matthew 16, 13 to 20, Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God, that was confessed. And Jesus also was shocked. He says, Simon, son of Jonah, blessed are you. And he said something tremendous. You are Peter. And upon this rock, I will build my church. And so there's no reason for you to worry. Why? Because upon your confession, upon this rock, I will build my church. And the gates of Hades will not prevail against it. And I give the keys of the kingdom of heaven. That's tremendous. And then in verse 20, tell no one about this. You have to understand what that means. I'll spread this far and wide. He gave the confession of faith. But then he says, don't tell anyone. And then, again at the very end, he said, go to all nations. There's a reason for that. Oh, I believe in Jesus and I got well from my disease. That's a good thing. But that becomes a stumbling block. That blocks us. You must let them know that. If God wanted you dead, then he could have killed you without giving you some kind of disease. But in order to save you, in order to call you, he might have just used that to get you here. That's not everything. Even if you don't get well from your disease, you are still a child of God. And God is still God. Be sure about that. 
이런 거에 시달리며 매여 있으면 절대 이걸 못. If you are afflicted and bound by those things, you can't see number one at all. 왜 Do you know why? 충격이 문제가 아니라니까요. That being shocked, that's not the issue. He took them to the mountain of transfiguration in chapter 17. Because there were many things that needed to be changed. That without this having changed at all, you shouldn't go out and say anything. Elijah and Moses appeared and what did they say? Oh, let's build a house for all three of them. Yes, that's the level that they were at. And so rightfully Jesus says, don't say anything. Don't say anything yet. Because there's still many things you need to receive and many things you need to discard. And think about it, on top of that, they ran away to Galilee. There are many things that need to be seen. They had to see the resurrected Lord, Matthew 28. And on the Mount of Olives, they had to concentrate on the message and receive the mission. And also receive the answer of Acts 2, 1 through 13. That's what he means. That is not that he doesn't want us to proclaim the gospel. Then after believing in Jesus, oh, I was so shocked, you know, I was so taken aback by this. One way, that's a stumbling block. And the reason why I really highly respect theologian John Calvin is because that's not what he taught. Then he didn't teach it this way, saying, oh, you experienced something? You must be a child of God. No, you receive salvation by grace. Isn't that so? There is no, con- there is no condition by which you can receive salvation because there is no condition by which you can live. That you receive salvation by faith. And faith, too, is a gift from God. That he's a theologian that properly saw the Bible. 그러니까 우리 이런 거를 실제적으로 무슨 말인지 우리가 알고 성도에 가르쳐야 돼. And so realistically knowing what these kinds of words mean, we need to teach our believers. 아니 장로님들이 그런 말을 교회에서 내가 뭔 이래도 역사가 막 이러면 하나님 감사하고 안 이러면 아닙니까? And our elders, if they go to church and they say, oh, these great works took place when I prayed to God and I'm so thankful, that if they didn't take place, would you not be thankful? What kind of proper elder is that? And so make them into elders that receive answers. And this opportunity, more than having a lot of events, being in this contactless age is so much better because people just come to listen to the word. I'm not saying that we don't need those events, but all of our attention is being drawn to that. And that's not what God wants. Then of all the remnant conferences that I've had until now, last year's message went out most clearly. Why? Because there was no other events. And I'm, does, do I mean that you don't need any events? No, that's not it at all. But our churches are being deceived by work. They're being deceived by people. Because these things become a hindrance. That there is the second point for number two. That you have to realize what are the things that hinder you. What are they? And that is me. That if we're not careful, we get lost in Genesis 3, 4, and 5. You. Must receive power. You must become like God. I'm thankful he didn't say you become God, but he said you can become like God. That it was so alluring. Isn't that so? What do you think? They take it one step further us or we. 꿈만 나라는 걸 나타내려고 어느 날 힘이 생기니까 우리 이렇게 보면요. 목사님들은 은근히 싫어합니다. Then when an elder is doing his work and he's always trying to reveal himself and then a little more later when he gets power he talks about we or us then the pastor is not going to like that. 사탄이 중구라는 거죠. Because that's what Satan gives. And because of that you can't see number one. 만약에 반대로 목사님이요. 모든 일을 
전부 자기 중심, 자기 이익 중심에 사살. 사람도 지 폐거리를 사살 이러면요. 장로님들은 말을 못 하고 피똥 터집니다. Absolutely. But conversely, let's say the pastor, little by little and very secretly, he's doing everything in a self-centered way, and the elders may not say anything, but they're still frustrated. 이게 노아 시대 때 일어났던 현상입니다. And this is the phenomenon that arose during Noah's time in Act in Genesis chapter six. 그 끝나면 괜찮죠. But it doesn't end there. 그 문제가 옵니다. Even a greater problem comes. 우리 것이 나오는 거죠. Ours. 이제 이때는 싸우는 거죠. That's when people begin to fight. 안 싸울 수가 없어요. There's no way they won't fight. 이게 창세기 십이 장 인절 팔절 바벨 다섯 명. That's Genesis eleven verse one through eight, which is the Tower of Babel. 우리의 oh. 이름을 내고 uh, 우리의 힘. For our name, for our gain, for our sake. 그렇게 봉사하는 평신도 많습니다. There are so many lay people who serve that way. 큰 일이죠. Then we're really in trouble. 얼마나 안타깝습니다. How frustrating is that? 이 엄청난 축복을 못 보고 놓지. Then unable to see this tremendous blessing. 어좀 생각하시면서 우리가 어. 성령 안에서 깨닫게 해 주셔야 돼요. They give this some thought and help them realize in the spirit. 나는 그런 분들 많이 보거든요. I see many people like that. 교회가 가고 있는 방향은 전혀 상관없이 일 만드는 하는 사람들 있습니다. 왜냐, 그게 이겁니다. And there are many people who create work that has nothing to do with the direction of the church. Why? Because they're stuck in that. Number two. 교회는 지금 한참 건축한다고 날막 난리인데 헌금은 안 하고 교인들 모아가지고 성교 여행 간다. 좋아요. Uh, the church, the church, church right now, they're smack dab in the middle 그렇죠. of raising the funds for church construction. 그렇습니까? But without doing that, you gather church members and you say you're going to go on a missions 했잖아요. fund. And you might think, okay, that's a good thing. And God told us to do that. Okay, Pastor, you said to do that. And so we're going to go for a missions trip. And what are you going to do about that? But there are many church officers like that. That if they make themselves known, or they think that there's a possibility of that, then they really muster up their strength to do that. They're still stuck in these three things. But it's so frustrating because it will never work. Later on, it won't work. Then, if you just sit still, then you can receive answers. Then when I say you don't have to do anything, you'll still receive answers. Doesn't mean that you don't do anything. It says that you don't have to do these kinds of things. The answers will come. But most people are like that. And then what's the third thing that hinders us? You don't know what is the greatest answer. That what is the greatest answer? That what appeared in Acts chapter two, that is the greatest answer. The day of Pentecost had come. And what's the answer that properly enjoys this? Galatians two verse twenty. That is the greatest answer. The me that has no choice but to face destruction has died and should die. Isn't that so? Now that's essential. Now Christ lives in me. That's it then. And completely breaking this down, Satan. Then the evangelist movement is bound to take place. It sounds so simple, and yet so many complicated life experiences have already gone inside of them. That's why, no matter how much a pastor explains, they can't understand. But when other people do that, they can't stand that. I think about it. Con artists are very quick to catch other con artists. And thieves who are wandering the streets, the moment they see someone, they know if that person is a thief or not. That we may not know, and that's why we get things stolen from us, and we are con. But people who use humanism, they know about humanism very well. But they hate others who use humanism, even though they themselves are doing it. And don't you think the world churches are like this? 여러분 목사 장로 기도에 내 그냥 기도해가 아니고 하나님이 주시는 언약만 잡아도 됩니다. That pastor and elders, this is the pastor elder prayer meeting, but we're not just praying. Just hold to the covenant God gives. 그러면 어떻게 됩니까? Then what will happen? 세 번째 기도. The third thing comes out. 우리의 배경이 확실하기 때문에 방해 되는 것만 알면 세 번째 뭐가 보이는 거 아닐까? Because we have a sure background, if we simply remove the things that are the obstacle, then we can see the time schedule. What time schedule? 
하나님의 시간. God's time schedule. 이게 다 보이는 거예요. We can see that. 이렇게 되어야 세 가지를 알수 있어요. That once that happens, you can know three things. 뭡니까? What are they? 누림이 뭔지. You know what is enjoyment. 이 누림을 모르면 지루합니다. 시간 많으면. That if you don't know enjoyment, you get bored when you got too much time. 사람들하고 말을 많이 해야 돼. And that's why you have to keep on meeting people and saying lots of things. 그러면 그러면 신진 돼서 안 되니까. Why? Because then you don't you, know, you don't feel comfortable. That's why you have to keep doing that. 이게 누림을 알면요. 다르죠. But if you know the enjoyment of prayer, you're different. 이 하나님의 시간표를 누리는 겁니다. That you're enjoying God's time schedule. 게 아니죠. And you're not just enjoying it. 기다립니다. You're waiting for it. 기다 그냥 기다리면 힘들 텐데 누리면서 기다립니다. And it would be hard if you're just waiting, but now you are enjoying as you wait. 그럼 뭡니까? And what else? 도전의 시간표를 합니다. That you know the time schedule for challenging. 이 시간을 알았을 때는 And when you know the time schedule, you can stake your life. If it doesn't happen this way, you cannot stake your life. Oh, now this is it. I will stake my life on this and go stand before God. That's the way it happens. And so Stephen could have spoken a little more gently, and yet he pinpointed everything that the Pharisees did wrong. 조금 뭐 언유법을 쓰면 될 건데 직설법을 썼어. Then you know he could have gone 그렇죠? in circles a little bit, but he told them directly. 알았어요. He knew the time schedule. 스테반은 얼굴은 천사와 같았다고 돼 있어요. And so it says that Stephen's face was like an angel. 죽는데 성령 충만했다고. That even though he was about to die, he was filled by the Holy Spirit. 성령이 처음으로 한번 우편 보좌에 서게 했다. For the very first time in the Bible, it says that Jesus was standing at the right hand of the throne of God. Everywhere else, it said he was seated, but he said he's standing. That if your child is in a critical situation, are you going to just sit there drinking coffee? No, you're going to stand and watch what happens. That your son goes off to the army and then comes home for his first leave, then the mom's going to run out barefoot to meet him. She probably won't go out the second time he visits. And these things are the most important and basic things, but the believers don't have the set as their nature. Now that's our fault. That is because all of the pulpits are giving an incorrect sermon. They keep on talking about worldly things. They keep on talking about physical things. They keep on talking about these kinds of humanistic <laughs> things. That's why they're not interested in this. <laughs> that was the Pharisees, though. <laughs> That's why they lost hold of all the important things. <laughs> We need to restore it. <laughs> It's simple to restore this. In my case, I'm very thankful because I had no power whatsoever. People seem to be interested in three things. The first was their position. <laughs> I wasn't interested in that. Why? Because there was something else that was more important. And most people, they're so interested in their position that they're fighting over that and falling into trials. And they're so interested in what people say. Of course, what people say is important. Because you can hear God's voice through people. But that's not what I'm talking about. That completely oblivious to what God is saying, they only focus on what people say. And also, greatly interested in material wealth. 그리고 뭐그 세계에 난 능력이 없어 그런 관심 갈 수가 없어. 그러니까 아 이거 보이는 거죠. And because I had no power whatsoever, I wasn't interested in those three things. That's why I was able to see this. 이때 몇 가지 중요한 거 옵니다. At this time, there are a few important things that come. 성경을 지금 찾아보면은 사도행전 1장 14절 15절 아침에 했고. You look at the Bible and we discuss, discuss Acts 1, 4, 1, 4 to 15 this morning. And chapter 2, verse 1 to 13 right now. And so regardless of what anyone else says, there was an important mystery that took place to the people that were there on that day. And 
It doesn't matter how small your congregation is. Why? Because it's through them that the way and the door opens. Then a new believer comes, and no matter how lacking that person is, there are many things around that person. And from here, the early church did three things. And nobody could block that. The healing of disease. 옛날이나 지금이나 하나님 모르면 복음 정확하지 않으면 다섯 가지 병이 옵니다. In the past as it is today, if you don't know the gospel, if you don't know God accurately, then five diseases come. 우울한 일이 없는데 우울합니다. Then even though there are no reasons to be depressed, you become depressed. 우울증이라고. We call that depression. 자살하고 싶습니다. You want to commit suicide. 죽을 만한 이유가 아닌데 that even though it's not a reason to die, you want to die. And so doctors can't treat those kinds of diseases. A little more time passes, and then you get so happy over something that's nothing, and you get so sad over nothing. That we call that the bipolar disease. From that point on, the people around you are tormented. At depression, you're just depressed on your own and you want to die because of that. But bipolar disease, the people around you, their lives are very difficult. A little while later, you start seeing demons. And then you start talking to demons. You start getting confused. And we call that schizophrenia. A short time later, you're not only seeing demons, but now fear begins to come upon you. That you think that the plane is going to crash. Or even though you, the building is fine, you think the building is going to collapse. That we call that phobias or panic disorders. And when it becomes even more severe, you can't even label it. That you begin to have these split personalities. Now you really go crazy. We call those five things mental illness. That you understand God's word just a little bit and you will be healed. And the character of these kinds of people, and I'll speak more about it in the conclusion, these people don't do anything. There was this person who was suffering from mental illness, and because they were kept on texting me, I met with that person and I wrote down a few things. Once you do these things, contact me. I just wrote down some basic things. And so I asked, him, What's your original weight? 45 kilograms. Oh, how much do you weigh now? 89 kilograms. You need to exercise and eat regularly. Do scheduled prayer. Listen to the word. Do that first and then ask me what to do next. But it's not working. And so people are filled with these kinds of diseases. And so the early church, they were unstoppable. They raised a crippled man in Acts 3. <coughs> to say that this person was sitting at the, uh, at the temple gate called Beautiful is an amazing thing. And that means that they were, he was a person that the Pharisees, the Sadducees, and the scribes all knew. That if you are beyond the age of 12, then you all go to the temple to worship. That means that all of Israel knew this person. And the Israelites, they even come in from overseas. And so the immigrants living overseas, they knew this as well. But they raised him in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. It's amazing, isn't it? And there's something you must realize here. That where must you transmit the covenant to the places where man cannot do anything? And so the early church was unstoppable. No matter how much they tried to block them, they could not. At these weak, helpless people received answers and they entered into the greatest answer. 
사마리아에 In Samaria, actually, the age. 귀신들이 이제 의사 못 고칩니다. And the demons possessed people, doctors could not treat them. 이또 목사님들 아시잖아요. 사마리아가 어디입니까? And pastors, you know very well what Samaria was like. 이마가도 메시아를 안 하겠습니다. That it, it would take hours to explain it. There was a tremendous reason behind this region. And then take a look. At the message, the field where you must relay the message. Actually, with 13, a person who's become a sham because of the new possession. That being demon possessed and doing fortune telling and becoming crazy. More and more, we'll see this increasing. 우상에 빠져서 말이야. 모든 것들 막 병에 들린 사람. People lost in idolatry and lost in disease. 어이 사도행전 이전 굉장한 단어가 뭡니까? And so what's a tremendous term here in Acts chapter two? 중요한 거에 몇 가지 집중하면 치유됩니다. That if you concentrate on a few important things, then you will receive healing. 사도행전 이전에서부터 일이 벌어진 거예요. That this began to take place from Acts chapter two. 사도행전 이전에 중요한 말이 많이 나옵니다. And there are many important words in Acts chapter two. 오순절 날이 이미 이르다. The day of Pentecost had come. That comes out. 다 같이 한 곳에 모여. And they all together gathered together in one accord. 아멘. 십사도 오로지 기도해. And like in verse fourteen, they devoted themselves constantly to prayer. 한 마음으로 기도해. In one accord, they prayed. 뭐에 집중했나요? Now they are concentrating on something. 그러면 역사는 남. Then the works will take place. That when I first planted my church, this is what I did first, and so that's what we did. 이래 뿌리면 이게 어디로 연결되는 거니까 서밋들이 그냥 딱 연결돼. Then this gets connected to the summit. 누가 이걸 할수 있겠습니까? Who can do this? 여기 관심을 최고로 본 사람이 나온 거야. And now the one who was most interested in this came out. Theophilus. Theophilus. Acts one one. 그래서 그 사람에게 계속 누가 보면부터 시작 보내요. And that is why they continue to send letters to him, starting with the book of Luke. 서미시고 대통령만 서미시 아니잖아요. 탑에 있는 사람. And the summit isn't just the president; it's talking about the person at the top of their field. 아니 사업에 완전히 성공하고 세계에서 답 얻은 사람들이 이게 연결돼. And the people who really succeeded and gained their answers who were living overseas, they gained their answer here in Acts two nine through eleven. 처음부터 물질 차원 없었어요. And so from the very beginning, they were overflowing with finances. And so if you look at that, they were not deprived of anything. 드디어 이 언약이요. 아나니아를 통해서 바울에게 연결돼. Ultimately, this answer began to go to Paul through Ananias in chapter nine. 하나님의 시간표 속에 있으면 이렇게 돼 버려. That if you are inside of God's time schedule, this is what happens. 그래서 새로운 시작 하셔야 돼. And so we begin anew. 약간만 이 일본만 기억해 버리면 무조건 돼. Just a little bit. Remember number one and unconditionally it will work. 누구든지 돼. That whoever you are, it will. 이번 일본은 여러분 이미 믿고 있을 겁니다. And the most important thing you already believe in number one. 또 삼번도 하고 있을 겁니다. And you're already probably doing number three. 제일 안 되는 게 지금 이번. What's not taking place at all is number two. 이것만 돼 버리면 무조건 역사. But if you can just do that, then unconditionally the works will take place. You must teach the believer. Because believers need to receive answers. And this went all the way to what? That Paul, Barnabas, and the similar disciples, they formed a crowd. As simply put, it was the healing of the specialists. That God began to plow in through these specialists. And this will happen to you in the future. It doesn't end with just that. If you look at Acts 13 verse 20, it says Sergius Paulus. At Sergius Paulus, who saw all of those fields. Acts 16 verse 9 to 40. That after healing a demon possessed servant girl, because they went into the prison and and healed the magistrate as well as the healed the jailer as well as the magistrates. These kind of things began to take place. All the way to Rome. 모든 북한 모든 배심원이 있는 현장에서. And in the field where they had all the people in the legal field as well as all the people in the jury. He says, "Be bold." Roma singer. You must testify about me in Rome. 그 현장이 바로 여기 북한인 법정입니다. And that was a legal field. 풍랑 만났을 때 바울아 두려워 말라 가이사 앞에 서야. And when he was facing a storm, Paul, do not fear. You must stand before Caesar. 이걸 보고 뭐랍니까 시공간 초월이요 이렇게 넘어가는 겁니다. That what do we call this transiting time and space? That's what happens. 드디어 뭡니까? And then what? 이삼칠 치유가 시작. The healing of the two hundred thirty-seven nations. 이까지 가지는 겁니다. It goes that far. 왜냐? Why? 
부활하신 주님의 약속이에요. Why? Because it's the promise of the resurrected Lord. 앞에 그 모르면 이건 막 굉장히 막연한 소리. And if you don't know what happened previously, then those words sound so vague. 그러나 이 지금 보좌와 시공한 초월이라는 하나님의 능력을 알면 가능한 일이야. 기도로 가능. But if you know about the throne as well as the power that transcends time and space, it becomes possible. Possible through prayer. 아니 배로는 가능하지 않대. That is not possible by taking a boat, but it's possible by prayer. 벌써 바울이 로마에 도착되기도 전에 이 소식이 전. Already even before Paul 그렇죠. arrived in Rome, news of this had spread there. 자 그러면 가이사 왕이 어떻게 재판하겠어? Then how can Caesar put him on trial? 아니 지금 배가 오다가 말에 풍랑만에 빠져 죽게 됐는데 한 사람 말 듣고 이 사람들이 살아났다 말 안정이 됐어. And this ship, it was coming to face the trial, but it faced a storm and it sank. But because of one person, they were all saved. Who is that one person? Oh, it was Paul, this missionary. It was because of him. Then what? What is he? He's not. 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 우리 우리 배가 사고나 살았는데 안 기다리겠습니까? 그 그게 바울이 쓴 거예요. And so wouldn't you do that? Think about it. Your ship met a storm, but you saved all the people there. Then wouldn't you wait for that person? 이게 바로요. 이 삼칠 연결되기. And this gets connected to the two hundred thirty-seven nations. 로마로 연결돼 버리면 이 삼칠 연결되기. Because when it gets connected to Rome, it gets connected to the two hundred thirty-seven nations. 다이 사람들을 보세요. And now take a look at these people. 다시 이야기하자면. Once again. 이 사람들이 이 삼칠 년이거든요. And these were connected to the two hundred thirty-seven nations, Acts two nine through eleven. 사도행 십삼 장일 절에서 사절 성령의 인도 받기 위해서 조금 몸부림 쳤는데 이 삼칠로. Acts thirteen verse one to four, they struggled just a little bit to receive the guidance of the Holy Spirit, and they get connected to the two hundred thirty-seven nations. 문이 막혔을 때 기도하고 있는데 마게도네로. When the door was closed, they began to pray. The door opened to Macedonia, Acts sixteen. 초대교회 나들 응답을 누리고 있는데. 막바로 이거는 이제 그 두란노로 로마로. Enjoying the answer that they took place in the early church, they were praying just a little bit, and it got connected to the lecture halls and all the way to Rome. 이게 중요한 게 나옵니다. And something very important here. 회당으로. To the synagogues. 서원으로. And to the lecture halls. 그걸 끝낸 게 아니잖아요. And doesn't end there. 아데미 신전으로. And to the shrine of Artemis. And to the courts of Rome. This is how God completely led them. 그래서 여러분 이런 일 저런 일이 나는 일로 아무 걱정하지 마세요. And so the many things that arise, don't worry about them at all. 그 걱정 다 해버리 뭐냐? 하나님의 하는 일을 다 걱정한다는 말이 돼. And you worry about that, that means that you're going to worry about everything that God does. 그다 이게 막 내가 안 맞다고 해서 불신하면 전부 하나님의 일을 불신하게 돼. That if you think that if you have unbelief thing that doesn't match with you, then you're not going to match with anything that God's doing. 하나로 딱 끝내야 돼. 오늘 일강에 있는 거와 여러분의 이 배경과. And so end it with one thing, what we spoke about in our first lecture, and your background. 죽는 날 알게 되겠습니다만 미리 알면. You truly understand that on the day of your death, but if you can understand that in advance, we call that faith. And so when you feel, we'll figure this out when you're about to die. That's not faith. That's confirmation. Oh, hell really, and heaven does really exist. I'm not even believing that I was born again. I just heard about it. I just heard about it. I just heard about it. 확인하는 거지 맞네. That you just lived any way you want, but just the fact that you are an elder, just the fact that you have received salvation, you end up in heaven. So you realize, oh, that's what it is. You have to believe now. 성경 말씀이 있는. And what the Bible, what the Bible says. 의사가 하도 내보고 그 자기 병원에 전도하니까 열심히 하니까 나를 불러 자기 얘기하는 거예요. That I was evangelizing in the one hospital, and so the director of the hospital called me. 뜬금 없이요. 뭐 목사님 뭐 천국 지옥이 있습니까 이런 거. And out of the blue, he said, Pastor, does heaven and hell exist? 천국이 없으면 좋겠는데 있으면 당신 못 간다. I said, if heaven didn't exist, that would be fine. But if it does 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 exist, you wouldn't be able to go there. 천국이 없으면 얼마 좋아. 나도 없으면 좋겠다. And how wonderful would it be if the hell didn't exist? Because I don't want to go there either. But if it does that exists, then you need to go there. But the Bible tells us it exists. 천국이 성취된 하나님의 말씀에. That God's word, where over seven thousand prophecies have been fulfilled, it says this one thing, and that's what, and that's still to come. 죽는 날 대충 확인하게 돼요. And the day you die, you'll be able to confirm it. 불신자를 모시러 옵니다. And just like it says in the Bible, Satan will come to usher you to your death. 그 믿는 자 하나님 천사를 보내서. And to the believers, God will bring angels to usher them. 그러면 말문 안 다는 사람들 막 말하잖아요. 마귀가 왔다 하고 막 이야기합니다. And that's why people on their deathbed who can still speak, they say, "Oh, the devil has come for me." 이런 치유적으로요. 
여러분이 최고의 응답을 누리게 됩니다. And so you can enjoy the greatest answer in the direction of healing. 문제는 성도님들에게 가르치고 여러분이 누려야 될건 뭡니까? But the issue, what must you teach the believers and you yourself enjoy? 이 배경을 다 우리가 확인할 수 없어요. 그렇죠? And we can't confirm all these backgrounds. 현실화하는 기도. It is a prayer of really making this your reality. 어떤 말 기도밖에 없죠, 사실은. And in one sense, all we have is prayer. 이 부분을 현실화하는 기도인데 오늘 기도에서 조금 여러분하고 얘기해 드릴 부분이 있습니다. That is the prayer that really puts this into action, and there's something I want to discuss with you. 기도는 누구나 하죠. 생각도 기도 아닙니까? 그러나. Everyone prays. Even your thoughts are prayer, but that's not what I'm talking about. You think a lot, you're going to find yourself elsewhere. Then you start thinking about that person and you start wanting to gnash your teeth against them. That if you want to think about anything, think about it from their perspective. If you keep on having your own thoughts, you find yourself somewhere else. That's why I'm talking about thinking about anything. And so prayer is not about thinking a lot. There is this concentration point or key. 내 생각과 마음과 몸이 말씀에 맞는 곳에 집중할 수 있는 것을 말하는 거거든요. They're talking about your heart, your mind, and your body being able to concentrate on the word. 그래서 우리는 이게 없는데 종교는 다 있어요. And so we lack this, but all religions have this. 그게 왜 그러냐? And the reason why they have it is because they are incorrect religions. Why do we lack this? We need to receive it from God, so we can't express it with our human words. 여러분이 이걸 못 찾는다고 하면은 평생 동안에 시부 이게 응답인지 뭔지를 모르고 살게 돼요. And if you can't find this, then you won't be able to understand what your lifelong answers are. 집중이 필요한 거는 내 생각이 있고 마음이잖아요. The key to concentration, you have your heart and your mind and your body. 이게 We're talking about the concentration point of bringing all three into oneness. And when you go to the Buddhist temples, what's dangerous there is because first of all, they make you bow down 108 times. All three are included there, your heart, your mind, and your body. And then half knocking you out, they, they, they make you take a bath, and then they put, lock you up in a room. That means close your eyes and get rid of your thoughts. It's really something. That what Satan's doing, and in that way they completely change you. Not, but that's the real problem. And think about it. What's really there may be many things, but we consist of our thoughts that go back and forth in our hearts. And we actually have a body. And the reason why people go up to the mountains to pray, and it was effective, is because these three things come together. And why is it more effective to just shout out in prayer rather than just sitting there mumbling to yourself? Is because these three things come together. That you are making these three things concentrate on the word. Or concentrating through meditation. Or those who enjoy music being able to concentrate in praise. And there are some people who might be able to concentrate by going up to the mountainside. You can use various things. 말씀 묵상을 늘 해야 되니까 묵상 호흡으로 집중하고. And for me, because I'm always meditating on the word, I meditate and I control my breathing. 이 호흡은 열한 군데와 관계 있습니다. And breathing is connected to about eleven different places. 첫째, 뇌입니다. First of all, is your brain. 호흡을 방식을 모르면 뇌에 굉장한 어려움을 주게 됩니다. And if you don't know how to breathe, then it's going to bring great hardships to your brain. 그래서 다섯 가지. And so, in simply put, you see that the for these five mental illnesses, the problem has come to your brain. That even though you don't go that far, you don't have any capabilities. 
And second thing, the breathing it can, it influences your heart and your lungs. Also influences your bones. 호흡을 틀리게 하면 적주병 많은 것이 That if you breathe incorrectly, then you're going to have lots of problems with your bones. 이게 호흡 제대로 하면 일단 뼈가 살게 됩니다. And if you breathe properly, you actually revive your bones. 다음에 혈관입니다. And then your blood vessels. 그리고 오장. And all your five organs. 그리고 70억 세포에 연결됩니다. And also to every cell. 이런 군데요. That's 11 different places. 그러니까 저는 이걸 And so for me, that that's my concentration point as I continue to breathe and I meditate on the word. That is actually a lack of time. It's not that I'm bored. That as I prepare the message, I continue to do this. And with this, there are about three prayers that you can do. 어, 하나님 자녀잖아요. 신분 기도입니다. That it is your prayer, your status. You are a child of God. 이때 이제 이 속에서요. 성삼위 하나님과 보좌의 능력, 하나님이 주의 천사들의 도움 많은 일. Is at this time that you can pray a lot about the triune God as well as the blessing of the throne and the work of angels. 우리 우리 신분이 이걸 누리는 기도. Then because our status can enjoy this, the throne. 그럼 많은 뭐 이게 보좌와 천사. And the throne and angels is all connected, and so you can enjoy that through prayer. And so, depending on the prayer topic, I continue to pray about this. And then also your authoritative prayer. Breaking down darkness. And during your prayer time. And as you continue to do this, you can regulate the time. And more importantly, you don't just end with that. You can enjoy all authority in heaven and on earth. That's even greater. That I've given you all authority in heaven and earth, and so I will be with you, and I've given that to you. 자, 신분 누리는 기도는 당연히 우리가 누릴 수 있는 거지. And so the authority, uh, your prayer of enjoying your status, you can rightfully enjoy that. 권세 기도는 Authority of prayer, that's a prayer that those who have the status can do. And so, God, please raise this crippled man, and that's a prayer according to your status. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command you to get up and walk. That's authoritative prayer. And as pastors, you can tell the people that you can pray, Oh Lord, may you make all the force of darkness depart, but you can also command them to depart. And you can break down darkness. Yeah. He has given you all authority. And what's that? 같은 말인데 이 지금 에, 성경을 한번 두 군데를 한번 보세요. It's similar, but let's look at two places in the Bible. 시편 백삼편 이십절 이십이절. That if you look in Psalm one hundred and three verses twenty to twenty-two. And if you look at Acts chapter 16, verse 16 to 18, then these are two things. If we begin with Paul, he spoke about this authoritative prayer and drove out demons. And when you pray in Christ's name, you can drive them out too. What's more amazing, though, once you chase them out, they can come back again. And so, like the first point, this amazing authority of prayer. Bless the Lord, O oh, you, His angels, you mighty ones who do His word. All His hosts, His ministers who do His will. These are amazing verses. That He has given us this tremendous thing. And if you can enjoy this blessing inside of prayer, then the real works will take place. And so when you meet a person who is sick and spoke about the five points of concentration, you can tell them that and it'll be greatly effective. Uh, 
Listen or transcribe the pastor's message. 이, 이 환자들에게는. Uh, to people who are sick. Uh, 아무것도 아닌 것처럼 보이죠. 말씀 녹취. It may not seem like much, but transcribing the word. 제가 안 성경에는 중요한 말씀을 써놨어요. If not, then just write the Bible verses, the important Bible verses. 이때 일어나는 치유사는 굉장한데 반대로 많은 한 시간도 빠짐없이 사단이 And the work of healing that takes place at that time is tremendous, but conversely, we see that Satan continues to give these petty thoughts. People who are demon possessed, they keep on having these kind of petty thoughts. No, help them to write down the word. Concentrating on that. And of the many things, really figuring out what I need to do, the kind of prayer where you make a decision. Grabbing hold of the word, and then you come to your answer, oh, this is what I need to do in prayer. The people who are sick, more than you can imagine, they don't exercise. And so help them to concentrate on that. And food, they just eat anything they want. 잘 먹어야 되는 것도 있지만은 정말로 영적 문제 있는 사람들은요 음식 시간이 엉망입니다. You do need to eat well, but if you look at those who have serious spiritual problems, they don't eat regularly. That's why they get so fat. 시도 때도 시와 때 안맞게. And so it, it doesn't matter what time it is; they're just eating randomly. 조금만 조절해줘. You can just regulate that. 우리 몸 가장 중요한 열한 군데를 고칠 수 있는. And especially concentrating on most, the most important thing, breathing. Even in just doing that, healing will take place. 자, 어, 여러분 보시고요. 지금 쓴 거는 제가 내 주소 와서 얘기한 거 아닙니다. I take a look at this, and the things I wrote down right now, I didn't just pick them up anywhere. 일 강도 그렇고 이 강도 그렇고 주소 한게 아니고 이 호흡 얘기는. And same thing for our first and second lecture, especially regarding breathing. I spoke about that from 30 years ago. 지금 하는 이유는 옛날에 뭐 해야 싶어. 지금은 과학적으로 증명돼 가지고 노벨 상도 나오고 각 병원들이 이제 의사들이 늦게 깨달아가 인용하기 시작했어. And the reason why I'm mentioning it now is that 30 years ago people would misunderstand my words, but these days it's been verified scientifically. Doctors are using it, and they even won a Nobel Prize. 그래서 지금 얘기해 주는데 그 이유는 저는 여기에 맞춰서 기도합니다. And so that's why I talk about it these days, and I match myself to that. 1분에 제가 호흡 한세번 합니다. That I breathe about three times per minute. 어, 보통 사람 어, 좀 살다가 병 걸려 죽는 사람은 보통 사람들은 1분에 한 서른 번 합니다. And the average person, the average person who lives their life and gets a disease and dies, they have about 30 breaths per minute. 천천히 하면 좀 맞춰서 이렇게. And so, you know, very slowly matching my prayers to breathing. 굉장히 이게 힘이 생기고. And then I gain strength from that. And 24 hours a day, I try to match that to various types of prayer. Our elders as well as our pastors, among your believers, there are many with spiritual problems. And they, you see them when you go to the evangelical field. And if they just listen to what you say, they will live. But they don't listen. But if they do listen, they will live. And those who are revived, they listen to the word and they hold to the covenant. They live. Then in this age, there is no book that actually talks about the problem that these people are facing. It's only in God's word. That's why you must do this. 어, 여러분에게 뭐, 뭐 약속이라기보다는 제가 확신 있게 드릴 수 있는 말씀은 시작하면 벌써 맞기 때문에 하나님 역사. More than saying is a promise. I have assurance that if you begin this, God will work. 네, 틀리기 시작하면 벌써 하나님 맞기 시작하지만 맞기 시작하면 하나님 시작할 때 역사. That if you begin incorrectly, then God will block that. But if you begin correctly, then God will work. 어, 새로운 교회, 새로운 응답 누리는 시작이 되기를 주 예수 이름으로 축복합니다. That I bless you, Lord Jesus Christ, that this will be a new start as we begin new ministry. Let us pray. 이번에 목사 장로 기도회에 전국 세계가 참여하고 있습니다. And Father God, the entire nation, the world is participating at this year's Pastor Elders Prayer Sun. Prayer Retreat. 교회를 위해 기도하는 시작이 되게 해주옵소서. Let it be a start of us beginning to pray for our churches. 기도에 줄을 잡는 
시작이 되게 해 주옵소서. Let it be a time where we hold to prayer. 총회를 놓고 기도하는 시작이 되게 해 주옵소서. Let it be the start where we pray for our general assembly. 예수 그리스도 이름으로 기도하옵나이다. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen.